What's up, DGSO fam? Today we will be discussing James Wiseman and how this season is his year. The Warriors were already winning chips without him. Now the team that has been struggling to have a reliable, dependable center just drafted a superstar prospect over the last three years. Picking James Wiseman may have cemented the Warriors to reach a second dynasty. A good mix of superstars and amazing role players James Wiseman is looking to break out this season and show the Warriors and the rest of the league how much he's grown over these last three years with the team. Wiseman may have had a rough start since joining the league. He had a lot to prove, but I trust him and this Warriors staff. If you liked the video, please like, comment, or subscribe for more updates on all things NBA. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So to start things off, I wanted to go over some of the weaknesses that he's faced over the last three seasons. Um, some of his weaknesses are obviously injuries as one. He has been very injury prone and in and out of lineups and in the G League with the Santa Cruz Warriors. He also has been in his had he also has been in foul trouble when playing in prior seasons. He has shown flashes of greatness, but then would become injured, injury prone or sideline again shortly after another issue is his strength against smaller opponents he would struggle to back down his opponent and would settle for jumpers over the last three years he has gained a lot of strength in his legs and is starting to lean out a little more but still being able to keep his explosiveness based on what i've seen in summer league he also can't catch and hold on to the wraparound or dump ball passes that are given him by like Jordan Poole and stuff. He sometimes fumbles passes. It seems he isn't prepared for the pass as if he's unsure if they'll dump it to him or shoot. He excels with lobs, but catching has been a little bit of a struggle in the past few seasons on the dump passes. He needs more reps and practice to help work on his timing on receiving passes. I know he was in high school and in high school he was a, mainly a ball handler, but you have Steph Curry on your team, so he's going to have to grow as an off-ball player. He will have many opportunities to show his fast break potential off of the dribble um, through different steals and you know just many opportunities over this season to explain and show what he can do. He needs to work on his aggression though. He's a big man and he can be like a mini Giannis if he starts believing in himself the same way Giannis did. But he needs to show that he can play off ball and screen um, to be good enough efficient wise to stay on the roster. Looney should be able to teach him this over the course of this season. He has a lot riding on this season as his extension is up for, uh, for this year. Uh, his strengths. So, Wiseman's strengths, he has a great ball presence and moves very efficiently up the floor with the ball. Similar to Draymond, he has great court vision and the ability to make the correct passes. He also has a lot of potential as a shooter from three to be a stretch five. He also shows some hope in the post, being able to get to the rim with ease by blowing past the slower big men. Wiseman has a nice first step and he has ball handling skills like a guard. If he can fulfill his potential, I could completely see him being like Giannis with a jump shot. Lots of lobs, lots of defensive stops, and also uh, potentially an MVP in the future. Learning under Looney, Draymond, and Iguodala will increase his basketball IQ tenfold. This while still having the best two shooters in history on his team is just crazy. Who can stop a team with a dominant spreading the floor big man and two of the best shooters of all time while having many other weapons on this roster at the same time? I don't even know what to say. I expect a lot from Wiseman this year and I'm banking on the Warriors development team. Predictions for him in the 2023 NBA season starting and potentially winning most improved player this year. So yeah, I see that he's gonna probably be a starter by probably like uh, probably from the break. So after the break of December and onward, I feel like Wiseman's probably gonna be um, a starter for them by then. And yeah, I could see him winning Most Improved Player this year too. Many um, 
things down the road as well, like maybe potentially an MVP caliber player. But that all just kind of depends on his development and how his confidence grows over the next few years. But that's like a long-term prediction. For a 2023 prediction, it's just starting, like starting in the league as a center. And potentially, yeah, like most improved player because of how much he's faced. And I could see him being a big part of them potentially winning this chip too. So um, maybe we'll see what's going to happen. But I do believe in Wiseman's development. And as long as he stays healthy this season, yeah, he, he's going to be helping this team a lot. So I hope he's learning a lot from Looney and Draymond and, and, and um, uh, Jermichael Green. And he's just, you know, soaking all this in and just really learning from these veterans and Iguodala and Steph and how to shoot from Steph and them. And who knows, maybe he could break out as a shooter like uh, Jordan Poole did this past season. And if he does, wow, <laughs> you know, that, that, that would be incredible. But what do you think? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day, y'all. DGSO out.